so now after having a deep understanding of the react native so now let's get started so now in this lecture we will just create a fresh react native application so for that what we need to do so we need to move on into the react native dot dev which is the official website of the react native and there you can just explore about the react native as well you can explore their api the components the community the blocks as well and then let's click on the get started and then you will see now we have two options of creating the react native application so the first option is the expo and the second option is the react native cli but i would recommend you to choose the expo because it is easier to develop with the expo but you could also use the alternative approach of the react native cli as well but before choosing them what are the differences between them that we can see so now let's see the options so we have the expo cli the first option and then we have the react native cli as the second option so about the expo so the expo is a third party service which is used to create the react native application and it is entirely free so you don't have to sign up or use your credit card for the payment but you can also pay and sign up because they offer the paid services as well but it gives you the managed app development workflow with free of cost so we have the expo for the third party service and the managed app workflow we have the ease of development with the expo as well because the writing code creating projects is easy and tapping into the native device apis like the cameras are easy so in general the expo will give you an ease of development approach and then you can just switch anytime so with the expo you can just switch anytime to the react native as well but in the react native cli you don't have this option to switch back to the expo so now let's see about this react native cli so the react native cli is built by the react native team so it is built by the react native team and the community behind the react native and it was the only option available when the react native was released first so this is the feature of the react native cli and then the setup requires more work so setting the development environment requires more work and setup as compared to the expo there is not ease of development as compared to the expo so as compared to the expo there is no ease of development so you need more tools and more setups for creating the react native application and but it has a easier integration with the native code so we have the easier integration with the native codes like the java kotlin swift or objective c so if you mix the javascript with the java or any other programming language like this swift for native development then this option would be beneficial for you but i would recommend you to use expo because expo gives you some extra packages and tools as well which makes a development and deployment very easy so now let's start with the expo approach so we can just click on the expo go and then you can see now we have this command to create a brand new react native application so we have the npx create expo app and then the name of the application but before that you need to install the node.js in your system as well so you can just move on into the node.js and then you can see this is the home page of the node.js as well and currently the version is the 16.17.1 which is the long term support version as well and i would recommend you to use this version only so you can just click on this version and then the file would be then downloaded and then you can just install the node js in your system so i have already installed the node js so i don't need to reinstall it again and after that we need to just install a code editor as well so we can just move on to install the visual studio code as well so we can have visual studio code so we can just search for the visual studio code and then you can see now we have this website of the visual studio code so we can just install this for creating the react native applications and after that as the next step now we need to install an emulator as well so if you want to test and run the react native application inside an emulator like inside an android device so you can just move on into the android studio so you can just search for the android studio and then you can just download the android studio as well according to your os so after downloading it then you need to install a virtual device manager as well which will work like a real device so after all of that so you can just open the visual studio code so this is the start screen of the visual studio code then what you can do so you can just click on the file and then you can just search for the open folder and then you can just create a brand new folder for creating the react native application so here i will just create a new directory it would be the react native so that would be the directory and then i will just select this folder and now after that so then we can just move on into the terminal and then we can just select a new terminal from there and after that you can see now this is the command of creating the brand new react native application so we can just copy that command and then we can just paste that command here so now we have this command and then we can also change here the application name as well like maybe the demo project so we have the demo so now we need to just hit enter and the new react native app would be then installed within very few moments so let's just hit enter so the react native app is installed and now you can see now we have some folders like the expo shared so the expo shared folder you can see we have the assets.json so this folder is used internally inside the react native 
and then we have the assets folder so the assets folder will become important later because we use the images and all of the assets throughout this application so asset folder is used mainly for the images and sounds or anything related to the asset throughout the application and then we have the node modules which contain some packages which works under the hood inside this application and again we have the git ignore file to ignore some folders for publishing into the github and then we have the app.js again which is a root component and then we have the app.json file which is the json file and this json file is very important because whenever we use the apps for preview like for in the development so this file gets active all of the app functionalities like the orientation the screen sizes and the assets are used from this app.json and again we can move on to the babel.config and then this file is used for the configurations internally like for compilation process and for the build process and then we have the package.json file which contains some scripts like we have the scripts of the start to start our application and then we, we have the script for the android as well because the expo provides you functionality to directly run on the android or ios or the web and then we have some dependencies as well so the react native has removed some dependencies like the react dom and for the react web support as well because now in the version of the 0.7 react native was mainly used for the android development and the ios development so if we need to develop for the web so we need to install the react native web and the react dom as well and then we have the dev dependencies as well like the babel core which is used for the compilation purposes so that's all about this folder directories inside the react native application so now after all of that now we can just start this application as well so now you can see now we enter the app.js and then you can see inside the app.js we have the view which is a container and then we have the text for adding some text and then we have the status bar for the mobile devices and then we have the style sheets as well so we'll discuss about them in detail later but now let's start this application so for starting this application we need to move on into the terminal and then we need to run the command of the npm start so it will just start a local development server on our machine so the expo will start this application so because we can see now we have the expo for starting this application and then you can see now we have some options below and then it is started on the port of the 192.168.1900 so now the application will be visible on this port and then you can see now we have some options and then with the qr code so the expo provides you the qr code as well so with the help of the qr code you can just scan this qr code from the mobile device so you need to install the expo in your mobile devices like now you can say you have the expo go so you can install that in your android devices and in the ios as well and then you can just test this application in your physical device as well in your own device so that is the power of the expo so it gives you the qr code and then you need to be registered on the same network and then you will be able to see the application that you are currently building and then you can see now after that now we have some options of the press a for the android and press w for the web so in order to run this application into the web so we need to install the packages the react native web and then the react dom but now we can just skip that and then we have the option of the press a so as we have already installed the android studio so we can just run this application inside the android emulator as well so for running that application we can just press the a and it will open the application inside the android studio as well so then you can see now we have the emulator working inside the android studio and then you can see now the expo has been installed in this project and we can just skip that and then you can see now we have the open app.js to start working on this app so now this application has been compiled so we can move on to the app.js and then you can see in the text we have the text of the open up the app.js to start working and then we have the same text in this so now our application is being working perfectly fine and now if you are having any issues with the android studio so you can just open the android studio from here so now you can see now this is the welcome screen of the android studio so you can just click on the more actions and then you can just click on the virtual device manager so with that you can just create a new device as well so you can just select any device and then you can press next and next and then you can just set the memories and then you can just add some storage settings as well like the ram the vm the sd card storage and so many things and then you can just click on the finish so then it will just add a virtual device inside the system and then you can just test your application inside the android devices with the help of the android studio so now if we change anything here like we can change from this to the hello world so if we save so now you will see the application will be recompiled and then you will see there will be the hello world onto the application so now you can see the application is been compiled and running it is also working whenever we are changing any file so everything is working perfectly fine so now we are able to create our first application with the react native so now in order to preview this application into the web 
so what do you need to do so you need to press w and then you will see after that you will see some options like it looks like you are trying to use the web support but you don't have the required dependencies so that's right because by default the react native now doesn't provide the web dependencies so for that now you can see now we have this command so we have the npx expo install and then we have the react native web react dom and then the expo webpack so if you want to preview this onto the web so you need to install these dependencies so what you can do so you can just copy this line and then you can just open a new terminal or you can use this as well so you can just stop this server and then you can just paste that here and then you need to press enter so it will install the required dependencies for the web and after that you can see now the dependencies are being installed and then again we can run the command of the npm start to preview this inside the web so then we need to wait and then you will see now the project has been restarted and now we can just press the w and then it will just open the development server on the web as well so we can just preview the application inside the web as well so then you will see once we will just press w then you can see now the localhost 19006 has been opened and then you can see now with the hello world as well so now it is working like the normal react js application as well so we can just change the content again like in the hello world we can just add hello developers and then we can just save and then you will see once we will just move on into the web so then you will see the content would be changed to the hello developers so now you can see our application is now being compiled into the android and into the web as well so everything is working perfectly fine so now with all of that now we have just created our first application with the react native with the help of the expo so we have ran this application inside the android and inside the web as well so that's it for the today's lecture so now let's wrap up this lecture